for now, let's get on to some CBDNN. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Canapex HQ gets bust. Shut down. So, guys, uh, last week we spoke about the joint statement from SAPRA and the SAPs, uh, basically saying Canapex be coming for all your. And Choose Bananas, I think it was either Saturday or Sunday, DQ Central broke the story, and they've been breaking it pretty much every day since. Saturday, they've done a sterling job. Hey? Is it? The, yeah. the Canapex headquarters in Brits got raided. Mm -hmm. From what I understand, uh, Russell was arrested. I'm not sure if he was there or wasn't, but he's arrested. He's in custody, pending... Still. It's yeah, not, it's not. Okay, cool. So, Canapex done being raided. The oak at the top of the pyramid done being arrested. Yeah. There was quite... There was, some, um, there was some quite epic pictures came out onto the airwaves quite quickly of um, loads and loads of China bags full of weed. And all those big... Tupperware, well, there's plastic boxy type and, things. Yeah, and extractors and, and ovens those and stuff. Big and barrel things full of weed as well. Yeah. Um, the, um, on a thread that I saw, people were complaining about the shrinkage on the fucking charge <laughs> sheet to what they saw in pictures on the. Two um, ton, one ton, half, half a ton. There we go, there's some pictures revolving through here now. Yeah. So there's China bags full of weed, and then there's all the ancillary bits. that We don't have to worry about that. You could argue that bit private use, but. Um, in the end, um, lots and lots of African medicines as well, so they did have complimentary stuff, and um, it was quite a jacked up looking thing. But, um, the weed doesn't look too lecker. Looks shit. Yeah, shite. I was looks trying to, I was trying to say it nicer well, than that. No, it's absolute Sam. bullshit, it's honestly, like that Sam. is some, honestly, that is crap. Like cool. They're trying to sell as a <coughs> medicine <coughs> kind of gimmick bullshit no man yeah no there's some yeah, fancy, that's eh? fancy stuff so hawks if you're watching please send us a couple <coughs> of samples to review yeah yeah because we reckon or not we at all the people <laughs> on the group that this was on reckon they saw 2,000 kilos of weed yeah there's two tons of weed two tons of weed and 500 was logged he's going down for 500 kilos yeah. and they, they're resisting they're resisting giving him bail at the moment because of the amount of Everything involved. It's quite a, you know, it's quite a big bust. So, um, and it's not his first interaction with the law. I guess. Yeah, and he's got a foreign passport, so he would be a flat risk, I suppose, as well. He's got a foreign passport. He's, he's not Dutch. South African. Oh, he's Dutch, oh no, he's yes. not. Du I don't know. He's got a Dutch passport. He's Swedish. So, Swedish. how do you say San Goma in Swedish? <laughs> Get a fix. Anyway, <laughs> so you say you went to a Canapex, say eh, Robert. Yeah. And what was your impression? Yeah, I was blown away. Okay. Wh which one did you go to? It was in Kailami. In yeah. Kailami? Yeah, just, just there by the gym. So I was just there by the gym. So it was right there. <laughs> it opened up. So, now, so I went inside. This was the first one I ever saw. And then I just saw it with my eyes. I was like amazed. It was just like weed on a scale. Pain with the card. I was like, what? Okay, no and nobody asked you for a me if you had a medical condition, That's it. and it's not like, because they're doing this as traditional healers, the whole rationale yeah. about this is, they've got this going through traditional healer law, so they didn't ask you, there's no Sangoma, no Nyanga, no prescriptions, no... no there's something like a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, okay. Mm. That's cool, sort of, but I think yeah. a lot of the franchisees were led down the garden path. Big yes. Oh, big so time. Yeah. I was interviewed... I was misinformed for, <laughs> drastically. <coughs> Check them out. I was in, interviewed, or I was, I was quoted in the Pretoria News, and I said, there's nothing malicious about this. They think there's like a drug kingpin and stuff, and what can we do to stop this problem? I said, well, it's not really a problem. There's no, nobody's trying to... No issues. There's, there's no real issues of... I think the guy... Did you ever see Fire? The movie Fire about the guy who was going to put the thing on on the desert island, <laughs> and he knew uh, halfway... Yes. Yeah, there, there's Fire mega fest. party, Fire, Fire Fest, fest. Yeah. and halfway through the movie, you know that the guy's not going to make it. But he was so fucking stuck in his head that it had to be, it had to come right that he went to jail for eight years because he owed people millions. Well, Russell De Beer, it seems as if he has just believed his own spin so much mm. and put a fucking cocoon around himself because there's a lot of haters out there for him. Yeah. I don't know you how can he understand, believed. As far as I know, there's fraud charges against him as well. It's not just like dealing. Yeah. I think it's this is going to be a fortunate way that he sold those fake licenses. What is dealing like the least of his worries? Because yeah. fraud starts getting hectic and yeah. that takes fucking years. The government years. does not drop fraud. And, and they're going to look at tax I think it would also be up to people to lay charges against 
them for a fraud case to come forward. There's and I think the government, have, you're right. No, there might there be. Are, I've seen on Facebook. Who knows, are. guys? But we're going to stay tuned. I've noticed Canapaxes have started issuing notices on their Facebook. I see a lot of branches have just closed down. They've shut their doors. And I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real, guys. Um, so Barbie had a validish comment. She was like, everyone's basking in the failure of this oak, which is kind of nauseating at the moment. And I get it as well, because you know, everyone's dancing on this oak's grave already and that. But something I think none of us have really thought about is all these businesses and all these people that have put their money into this now that are now high and dry. Sort of, because we, we, some of them um, have come to Fields of Green a bit shell-shocked because they thought they had like it covered and he'd cover it for them, but he's dropped everyone like a stone. There's nothing. There's no backup in any form. I think he really, I think he really let himself down. Yeah. I think they should have. I think they oh. all should have phoned the traditional healers council and said, Bro. just a bit of a yeah, checkup. Do, are you allowed to issue illegal or and like you no? Know, yeah. Right. Are you allowed to sell illegal goods? They would have turned around and said no. So then they would have said, well, hold on a minute. And I'm sorry to say this to the people that have lost the money, but you should have gone and checked. You should have at least yeah. done that due research. diligence on that yeah. side of because it's I such a there, sensitive I thing. Them. I asked them. Where's this act saying that you can appoint people to grow on your behalf? And he couldn't point to it. Who? who yeah, yeah, well, Russell. yeah. No, I said, I said with him. Oh, you went there look for, right at the him. very yeah. beginning, yeah. I said with him. And he couldn't show me that. He showed me the act. They said nothing about appointing people or... It only, you was big on the fact of uh, pushing um, apprentices. So all yeah. these people bought into apprenticeship. But they actually, weren't actually trained, being trained as Ngormas at all then? Technically, no, but yes. But even if they were, even if they were, they're, they're still not allowed off. to do what he was doing. Because no. you're not allowed to, to give someone an illegal no. item for health, no matter what. Mm. Especially if you has to be calling it medicine and making a claim. Yeah. That's the whole point about it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good question, Jeff. Firstly, uh, Matt Moon, I checked, Robert checked your comment already. He says, Mo Fire Dragon, like that spliff, my brew. Because mm -hmm. you were hanging on to that spliff for a while, but even <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. Like, are you going to name that or smoke it? Uh, Sean Alexander, very good point. Very good point. <coughs> if he fights in court, some precedent or mm. FaceTime could actually do some real good. So, what potentially could happen is now that Russell's really neck deep in it, maybe he sets a precedent, precedent where two tons becomes legal. You know, well, um, we're in Africa. We, I think we got the, the precedent is going to be high regardless. Myrtle made the point on, on SAFM, on the radio with Stephen Curtis, that um, it, 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 it's good in many respects, but it's, it's got into the conversation in every single <coughs> level. Because most of the franchisees were sort of middle-aged Afrikaans people. We imagine them putting mm -hmm. like their not their retirement money, but maybe retrenchment money or something even more. Taking a second bond sad. in the house. Or something, 25K. They're like in their 50s, going on to 60, whatever. It's like early retirement money. And now they haven't even got that. Buyer beware. So mm. I, I reckon good. there is good because SAFM, Pretoria News, The Times. Um, we did this whole big questionnaire thing uh, as a result of Canapax for Old Mutual. Because Old Mutual want to know how to... How to get people to invest in SMMEs? Mm. Okay. Oh, it's cooking in the background mm. of this now. Yeah. Old Mutual must just oh, fax fine. Russell there. Russell's fax number is one o one one one. You'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Guys.